Supreme Allied Commander Europe, General Philip Breedlove, recently visited with leaders and troops stationed in Afghanistan. I have been here to visit and, and take a look at Resolute Support and how it changed. It started first in the capital and had meetings with our senior civilian leadership, senior military leadership of the Afghan Security Force and then our senior leadership. Uh, took a look at how the headquarters has adjusted and made itself ready for uh, the new mission and then got out to TAC East and spent some time with the guys there. Um, I'm impressed. First of all, I think that the, the headquarters has done a good job of making a complete and what I would call very uh, expedited change to the new mission format. The smooth transition to resolute support was made possible because of our close relationships with our NATO allies and partners. I, I was just here before you walked in shaking hands with the Chief of Defense from Georgia. And Georgia, a partner nation to NATO, the second largest contributor to the force structure here in Resolute Support. So our nations are, are stepping up. All of our nations are involved in Resolute Support, primarily about 14 of those nations providing the forces on the ground. But again, this is an, this is an alliance deal, and the, the support to it is strong. Breedlove wants to clarify that the shift to Resolute Support is a transition point, not an end point in both the war in Afghanistan and our relationship with the Afghanistan people. That yes, NATO is entering into a non-combat mission, but NATO will be doing a train, advise, assist mission in a combat zone. The war in Afghanistan has not ended. The combat mission for NATO has ended, but the ANSF is still fighting an, an insurgency in this nation. And we, as both U.S soldiers, sailors, airmen, and marines, but also as NATO forces, we'll be conducting our, mi our mission in a combat zone, combat environment. Reporting from Bagram Airfield, Sergeant First Class David Wheeler, U.S. Forces Afghanistan Public Affairs.